what's going on guys my name's cj welcome to the channel if you're new here please hit the subscribe button turn those notification bells on so you don't miss out on any of these awesome videos if you're here again welcome back love you guys okay in today's video i'm going to show you how to customize your channel and you're probably saying well why did youtube mess around with this customized channel stuff now we have a new one again like what's going on i mean why do they keep changing everything well, what happens is over time, people complain about things. And the more people that complain, the more YouTube says, okay, we need to change this. And we want to make this more user-friendly. And sometimes it doesn't turn out user-friendly for people who have a cell phone, mobile phone. And it's harder for people like that versus people on the computer. So I'm going to show you how to do this two ways. One, on the computer. And two, on your mobile phone. All right, guys, here we go. Pay attention. All right, so on your YouTube page, this is basically the layout. Your channel art or channel banner, your profile or YouTube, Google profile. This right here would be a featured video. The rest of this will be sections or featured sections for people to see. Now, YouTube has made more changes regarding the camera icon button on the channel banner and the camera icon on the channel logo. If you click on either one of these, it's going to put you back into YouTube Studio. It will no longer let you change it right from the front of the page you're on. Regardless of what button you click, it's going to take you to YouTube Studio. Now this button here, Manage Videos, this is new. We didn't have this before. If you click on Manage Videos, it's going to take you directly to your videos. If you want to customize your channel in any way, you're going to click on this blue logo, Customize Channel. And you would do this on the mobile app as well. Okay, now YouTube has created its own section called Customization, the sparkly wand. Okay, we have three tabs now within Customization. We have Layout, Branding, and Basic Info. Okay, so the layout is everything on the front of your YouTube homepage. It's how you show your channel to people who come to your channel. Okay, so under Video Spotlight, it says Channel Trailer for people who haven't subscribed. For an intro video, you want it to be less than two minutes. You don't want it to be long. You want it to be straight to the point. Say who you are and what you do on your channel. All you want to do is let the new person who's on your channel become familiar to what your channel is really about. Okay, the next one says Feature Video for Returning Subscribers. This video is for when people come back to your channel, people who are subscribed to you, this is the video that they will see. You have to set both of these videos if you want to, and I highly recommend you do. And what it does is it makes the video pop out and become the first thing to see. If someone is not subscribed to your channel, the intro video that you set is the video they will see. If they are subscribed to your channel, the featured video for returning subscribers is the video they will see, and they will not see the intro video anymore. If you want to set these, click on the little three dots, click on change video. Now for intro video or trailer video, it has to be one of your own videos. And the same thing for featured videos, you would go to change video and you can either select one of your videos and here you can actually select someone else's video. So if there's a YouTube channel that you support, you can feature that video if you wish. Here's a video that Nick and I did. Now, normally what I do for a returning subscribers video is I put on my last video that I made. That just helps showcase my last video for people to see. Okay, down here, featured sections. Now, notice it says customize the layout of your channel homepage with up to 10 sections. I have the max amount of sections. I have 10. You cannot go more than 10 sections. In order to add a section, you would just click on add section. And from here, you can add in any of these sections that you wish uploads popular uploads live streams playlists single playlists multiple playlists subscriptions or featured channels so featured channels is a section within its own now now keep in mind that the featured channel sections has moved it is no longer on the front sidebar of the home page it's gone and that will count as one of your 10 sections okay the next section we have is branding now, if you clicked on the profile logo from the homepage, it would take you right here to profile picture. Same thing if you clicked on the banner channel art button from the homepage, it would take you right here. If you want to change it, you can simply click change and go ahead and pick a file from your computer to change your profile picture 
They let you know that they recommend using a pitcher that's 98 by 98 and four megabytes or less. Use PNG or a GIF. No animations will work. Make sure it follows the YouTube community guidelines. Now for channel banners, it says for best results on all devices, use an image that's 2048 by 1152 pixels, six megabytes or less. Okay, the bottom one is the video watermark. The watermark will appear on your videos in the right hand corner of the video player. So you could say to display it at the end of the video, a custom start time or the entire video. I choose the entire video. I don't display my channel logo. I display a subscribe icon to get people to subscribe to the channel. Does everyone do it? No, but it's just another way to let people know you're asking them to subscribe. Okay, the third section is basic info. Okay, if you wanted to change the name of your channel, you can simply click the edit button and you can change it right here. Choose a channel name that represents you and your content, and this will change your Google account. Now this is really important because I see a lot of channels that have these really long names or names that just don't make sense. There's a lot of channels out there that have YT in their name, YouTube. And to be honest, everyone knows that YT is YouTube. So that's not something you want to put in your name. What I recommend for a channel name is the first part of your name should be your actual name. So my name is CJ. Okay, so that is the first part of my name. Now, the second part of your name, what I recommend is what is it that you do? I provide information, okay? So the channel name is CJ's Info. What do you do? Dan's Tools, Susie's Arts and Crafts, CP, The Tool Addict, Nick, Pixel TV, Real Giveaway Guy. You want to be clever with your name, but you don't want your name to be too long or not understandable enough to know what your channel is about. Here's the description. Now this is pretty cool here. If you want to add a language for your channel name description, you can do that. Click on add language and you can just go ahead and pick a language that you want. So if I want to pick Italian, now what I recommend is go to Google Translate, type in your name and put it in the language that you want to translate it to. Then press this copy button Go back here to the right side in Italian and paste that channel name. Info DCJ. That's how they say it in Italian. CJ's info. Now to copy my description. Okay, now I'm just going to paste my description here. And then I'm going to go down and copy my description. Right click and hit paste. Now I have my channel name and about page translated in Italian. Now for links, this is also on the front page of your channel art. Links are a great way for people to come to your channel and be able to just click on your social media links or be able to send you money if that's what you want or go to your merch store. I also have a subscribe button here. All right, so to put these links in your channel art or to overlay them, you can have only up to five links show at a time. I don't think there's a limit for links, but I have 10 links showing and I think that's good enough. I can add another link if I want to, but I don't need to right now. For a subscribe link, you put the title would be subscribe here, subscribe for more, whatever you want to say. On the left, on the right, it's youtube.com slash your channel name or your channel link, question mark, sub, S-U-B, underscore, confirmation equals one. I'll put that in the description so you know how to use it. If you want to put Twitter, just put in the name on the left, Twitter. Make sure you're using the right shareable URL link. I have seen channels where the link is a little white box and it's not showing the icon. It's because you're not using the proper shareable link from that website, okay? Now, if you want the links to show in the banner, make sure it says list the first five or however many you want to list. Here is five is max. And then contact information. What email address do you want people to be able to email you at? Now I have it already written in my about page, but you can click on view email address and it's there. I highly recommend that you don't use your personal email. Use an email that you would use for a business or create a separate email on Google so that if someone was trying to hack your YouTube account, you have 
a different email address, okay? You don't want to use your primary email or the same one that you use for your YouTube account because this is how people's channels have been hacked. They've used the same email address. Okay, that's it for the desktop mode. Let's get into how to do this on the phone. Now, this is Safari. If you have Safari, you're using Safari browser on an iPhone, you would simply click on that little A, big A icon at the top left corner of the browser, and you're gonna change it to request desktop site because you can't do anything of what I showed you unless you're in desktop mode. Request desktop site. From here, we're simply gonna click on this customize channel button with your finger. It says, try out the studio app. Okay, you can't do these things on studio apps, so don't worry about that. I do recommend you download YouTube Studio though to manage your YouTube channel regarding videos, analytics, and so forth. So now you wanna click on continue to studio. And there we go, we are now in the customization mode of YouTube Studio, exactly what I showed you. Is it harder to do it this way? Yes, it is, but I can zoom in with my finger. All right, so if you don't have Safari, and let's just say you're using Google Chrome, you're simply gonna click on the three little dots at the bottom right. Scroll down to where it says request desktop site. Click on that. Okay, again, we're gonna click on the customize channel button. Again, it's gonna say, get the app, don't click on that. Click on continue the studio. And there we are. We are in the desktop mode of YouTube studio for the customization to zoom in and out, use your fingers, pinch them like you would do with a photo. And that's it, it's simple as that. I hope that helped you guys. Please like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.